paid actually patients already okay okay <clears throat> so we're going to call to order the board of electricians meeting march 6 2024 first order of business is review the minutes from the last meeting that we had on february 7th at that time we read the minutes in we looked at a uh, journeyman B application for Hunter Waldeus and a master C for Craig Mosher. Both had to be uh, opposed because they lacked the, the requirements. And then we spoke with Calvin uh, about his concerns with the, the 200 Court Street project um, and the change of contractors on that job from John Mills to someone else. They don't know who yet. And that was it. So we can get these into the uh, record. We can move on to today's business. Any motion to move them in? So moved. All right. Sorry. So today we have four licenses from the from the union hall. Four license uh, journeyman applications. We have Craig Mosher back for his master C. And we have Hunter Valdez and. One, two, three, four other guys from Radak. We're all looking for journeyman B. So we got Craig Mosher and the five guys for journeyman B's all looking to do uh get temporary licenses to do the job at 200 Court Street. And then we got four journeyman uh, applications from from the union hall. It looks like or all got in uh, all the other guys. Um one thing we want to be cognizant of before we go ahead and look at these applications is that we did have a dispute with Radek over whether or not Hunter Valdez was qualified for a journeyman B license. And our requirements that we had stated that you had to have a license in another municipality. That was on our, our quick facts, you know, what do you need to get a, a license as a, as a journeyman B? The vice president of Radek pointed out that our light, our uh, charter actually says that a class B license shall only be issued to a journeyman or a master duly licensed from a municipality whose licensing program is recognized by the city. We agreed with that. That's what we said. Why you're not getting one is because you weren't licensed by another municipality. But it goes on to say, or. An individual who has successfully completed a state approved electrical apprentice program recognized by the city examining board, which is what they gave us. They showed us that Hunter Valdez had completed the New York State apprenticeship program and has 10,000 hours. So according to our charter, we should have approved that application just based on the fact that Hunter Valdez had completed a 10,000 hour New York State apprenticeship program. And we have since updated our, our quick quick uh, facts reference sheet for Hunter or for journeyman B applications to say it's licensed somewhere else or a certificate of completion of apprenticeship training by New York City. So now we have five guys from Radak who have all completed their apprenticeship, apprenticeship training by New York State who are looking for journeyman B licenses. Uh, Bill was not able to make the meeting, but he did stop in today and review all the applications. And he said, everything's a go. From his perspective, he votes yes on all of them. So I will pass these around. Craig Mosier was not given his master C because his license in Ithaca was not current. He has since made it current. The five guys from Radek are all uh, gentlemen who've completed the apprenticeship training program through New York State. They're all looking for Class B journeyman licenses. Don't worry, we acquire the uh, hours um, no, uh, from a notary. Not not if they have the, uh, not for license B, yes. For journeyman, we do. For license B, it says you are either licensed somewhere else, which means you've already proven your hours to them, or you've completed the apprenticeship training program. This uh, New York State apprenticeship training program is a 10,000 hour requirement. So the fact that they have the certificate means they did they okay. have 10,000 hours of training. And is there any um, fact checking on that uh, certificate or? Do you think we made them up? I think I'm just taking them at face value. I didn't okay. call New York State. I don't have a way of checking that. I have a way of checking um, 
you know, who's a registered architect. I can see who's got workers comp. I can check mm -hmm. a lot of stuff in New York state, yeah. but that I did not look into. There's to be a New York state certificate. Yeah. That, ones, I yeah. I, I, don't. I, I can't confirm that. Uh, on a book. Okay. I'm I'm taking these at face value. You don't like church? No, but I got a lot of certificates from the state of New York. Yeah. yeah. Mail yeah. Only an electrician in my own house. Also a plumber, roofer, painter. Chef. There's a There's a Mm -hmm. I think it's different. It's a little bit. Well, he's by the state. Oh, he's yeah. by the Department of Labor. It's one of the master's license. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that these are, I don't think we hit yeah, the master yet. I think these are just, it's just the city council. So you can get Department of Labor. Yeah. Department of Labor is the state. We eliminate that. Maybe they change their certificate a little bit. Something. The state. Date on that one. I would like that. Thank you, Nate. That's 2019. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Was that 2021? Yeah. Well, anybody with a scanner. Yeah, you can do anything. Computer is good to accomplish it. Yes. I also wanted to get it for a job. Need it. Yeah. Uh, these are all from the union hall. These guys are applying for regular journeyman licenses. None of them ha are, are, interestingly enough, uh, from like Blanding or Mac or anything. These, all their hours are from an apprenticeship program at the union hall. They're all over 9,000 hours, but, you know, that's that's the verification is all from IBW. So they were cranking out a lot of people up there this quarter. That's good for the union? Yeah. Are people retiring? Are you one of those people, Kevin? Are you one of those people? What, retiring? retiring? I did that a long oh. time ago. Yeah. Are you writing that down? Kevin retired a long time ago? This is true. What the hell are you still doing here? <laughs> Me too, but I'm still getting paid. All you got to do around here is be able to fog a mirror, ain't it? Yep.
<clears throat> this paperwork shouldn't be in there. Yeah, he was already approved. That was all. Not sure why this is in there either. So sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so you got it. Flooded. Labor should be cheap with this many new members. Good. Almost 10,000 open calls in the country for electric. Can't be done. You guys are cranking them out, though, aren't you? No, because it takes five years to make an electrician. So we have five people that are applying for the journeyman license for this year's crop because it's hitting at the school year. So we get that three people who hire private. Mm -hmm. So we're not even keeping up. Five, we got four applications from IBEW. Right. We and all of our hours, uh, and we're gonna check the Department of Labor because all of ours are certified. The Department of Labor comes in twice a year to look at Blue Book. So they actually have to have record on file to graduate their program of their hours and who they work for. Okay. So we'll follow up on those other gentlemen. Yeah. For you. Good. Okay. So going through these, Holden McPherson, journeyman application, hours from the IBEW, pass the test. All in favor? Okay. All right. Great. Oop. Too rough with that one. Uh, Zachary Race, journeyman application, got the hours from the union, pass the exam. All in favor? All right. All right. Donald Atkinson, IBEW hours, pass the exam. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chad Livermore from the IBEW has his hours, pass the exam. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Joe Taylor, journeyman B, New York State Certified Apprenticeship Program. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Which one is that? Uh, Joe Taylor. Okay. Uh, yep, Joe Taylor. These are these are the Radek guys now. Okay. The next five are Radek guys. All right. I'll have their certificate of completion for apprenticeship program. Um, assuming that the certificate is valid, I I approve it. I would approve it. Okay. You want to bring up? Yeah, on that? It's, I done some research on individuals from Radek, and. For city of Rochester's licensing, not one of the individuals shown on their city licensing. Yeah, so Rochester's journeyman licensing program isn't mandatory, it's optional. None of these guys opted into it. Our charter says you either have to be licensed as a journeyman in Rochester or have the certificate of completion from a New York State apprenticeship program. Okay. They've all done the apprenticeship certificate, so but they don't go and get licenses unless it's mandatory. And so if it's not, they don't. No, so they've they've met one of the two master's licenses. What's that? Journeyman B license. It's just journeyman B. 
Okay. If you're applying to the city of Binghamton to be a journeyman, you will have to have, uh, you know, 10,000 hours verified. Yeah, this is, all right. So, so assuming that the certificate is good, I make a motion that uh, it gets accepted. Okay. So Joe Taylor, uh, journeyman B application, all in fit, all in favor with verification of certificates authenticity. Aye. Okay. Bryce. Bryce Reckenwald. Uh, same thing. Journeyman B application with a certificate. If we can verify authenticity of the certificate, all in favor. Aye. Aye. You write that down. Okay. Verification of the certificate. Martin Stowen, same thing. Journeyman B. Verification of authenticity of certificate. Aye. Hunter Valdez, journeyman B. Verification of the certificate. Aye. Aye. David Lane, journeyman B. Authentication of certificate. Aye. Aye. Craig Moser, duly licensed in Ithaca. Good standing. Uh, Master C. All in favor. Aye. This is the master C. Yeah. That one just says that you have to be licensed somewhere else. He was licensed in Ithaca in 2023. His 2024 license wasn't valid. He has since made it valid with the town of Ithaca. Well, Ithaca, we don't uh, recognize as a. We don't. This isn't a reciprocating program. That would be if you wanted the master A license in the city of Binghamton, he would have to be in a township that we reciprocate with. Mm -hmm. For a master C, the requirements say you can get a temporary license to do one job one in 12 month job. period, as long as you have a license somewhere else, whether we reciprocate. That's the only or job not. that that license would be good for. Would be yeah. more that says right here in the master C, the electrical standards of Binghamton. Yeah, the licensing program recognized, not reciprocating this. Do we recognize that um, Ithaca has a licensing program and that we agree with it? I personally don't recognize it, but that they, if we recognize it, usually in the past, we've recognized Rochester when they had a pro metrics test. Right. Jeremy would uh, do the fact finding and, and they would have that. We, I assume that we've always, as the term recognized, do we the, believe that theirs is similar to ours? That they I don't. Would we we have through the same. Basis? We haven't reciprocated through Ithaca before. We don't. Re not not or reciprocating. Just we recognizing that recognized. if they had a licensing program, yeah. it would have similar requirements. Yeah. Or requirements that are acceptable to us. Do they just hand them out like Betty at a ticker tape parade? Or I have no idea. People take tests. I have no idea. Yeah. Do they have a any kind of testing in place or? or I, mean, I don't know. I mean, that's my opinion. It doesn't have to be the, everybody else's opinion. So mm -hmm. I, you can propose that question again. And Well, let's let, for the record, when John Mills of Ithaca put himself down at, or had been named as the entity who would be doing the work at 200 Court Street, mm -hmm. he had to get a Master C license in order to qualify for it, which we have reviewed and approved. So if John okay. Mills, Ithaca electrician, was reviewed and approved because we felt that Ithaca's licensing program was recognized as being similar in requirements to the Binghamton's board, it would be hard for us to turn around now and say, but I don't think Greg Moses Mills is from Elmira, is he not Ithaca? But his, his, his license was from Ithaca. Because I don't think elmira has got license in Elmira either. Right? Yeah. So, so it would that's be hard all... to reconcile the fact that okay. we said okay for Mills, but not for Moser. Agreed. Uh, does he, but that's what he provided is just the Ithaca? Yeah. Nothing else. Right. Okay. We can change our minds, but it kind of puts us in the spot of saying, why did you improve? Yeah, we, we can't uh, play. Uh, Favorites. Both, yeah, we can't play okay. both sides of the fence. All right. All in favor, Craig Moser? Aye. Craig. All right. So we have every, uh, Journeyman approved, we have the Master C approved, and we have five Journeyman Bs approved pending verification of the authenticity of their certificates.
Anybody have any other business they want to discuss? Yeah, can, next meeting can Patty bring donuts and coffee? Patty, donuts and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Not full size donuts, Dunkin' Munchkins. Little Dunkin' Munchkies, okay. And a box All of right. coffee. All We're right, going. and move to uh -huh. conclude the meeting. Yes, adjourn it until next. Oh, I'm sorry, Calvin. Yeah, I was going to ask if we can get copies of those uh, completion certificates so we can verify them. Nah, I don't think we can get those to you. You can FOIL them, I think. I don't know if yeah. that's public record. We'll FOIL them. Yeah. As long as we have Step the, down the information office. on the people, because there should be a number for that. It should be public. We'll okay. FOIL. We'll go okay. through the work. Yeah, I can't give them to you, Calvin. I think there, there's some confidential stuff that maybe you run that through a clerk's office. Yeah. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Adjourned. Thanks, Bob. Thank Thanks. you.